An RDC councillor calls for the removal of a heavy-duty machine on the Albion public road that is a traffic hazard. Details in this report. On many occasions, the average man is often penalized for not following the regulations. But, while known individuals of society are not meted out with the same consequences, as the authorities usually turn a blind eye to certain situations. In November of last year, the Ministry of Public Works embarked on a campaign to remove the relic vehicles and all encumbrances from the roadways. While this campaign was effective in Georgetown, it did not have the same effect in Region 6. In Albion, a huge heavy-duty machine has been parked on the public road for several weeks, as though it has found a new permanent abode. RDC Councillor Derek Bastio commented on the location of this machine. It's very, very, very much a hazard here for traffic, for commuters, for pedestrians, school children. There's a school back here, Crapper Government School, and during school hours, you know, it's very, very detrimental. While the councillor acknowledges the purpose of the equipment, he condemns the contractors for leaving the machine there for such a prolonged period. This machine here was here for going to seventh week now. The first week it came here, within three days, they were putting down the second post and the machine broke down. Since then, they put all these barriers here, right, creating a, a road hazard. At night, people would speed through this area here, motorcycles, cars, you know. And when you, when, when, when you, when you sleep at night, there's always a noise here. Very, very much a big noise. Coupled with this already existing issue is this new situation. And thing, on top of these, all these street lights, about nearly 20 on that side going to the Albion complex, and 20 on this side going to the Kilkai Dam. All these street lights are out at night. It's very, very, very dark. Mr. Bastio is disappointed in the situation that has unfolded. When you talk to these contractors here, they don't pay you no mind as residents or business owners. You know, they don't have nothing to tell you. Oh, the machine break down, there's nothing to be done. But come on, seven weeks now this machine break down, right? Plus another smaller machine there that's also broken down. And they're not fixing the machine. I don't see no activities, no mechanic, no nothing, nobody coming to fix this machine. It's just sitting there. Further, he stated. Albion police normally would do a roadblock. And it's in the roadblock let's say the police got an emergency and they got to do a roadblock these are things gonna affect them from doing their job properly they are not a nobody no residents here if they get a job to do widen in the road yes widen the bridge complete your work the relevant authorities are being called on to address the concerns raised narima ali channel 8 news